All right, jumping into a brand new match against the Albed Sykes. They are now at level 100. So we've done it. We've broken the natural level barrier. They're at level 100. These levels and stats are levels we don't know. We don't know what happens. Going over our settings, our techniques. Uh, we have Sphere Shot, Nap Shot, Wither Shot. Okay, that's, that's what we got as our as our hope. <laughs> and no anti-map on Nimrick. That could be good. That could be good. I know it says level 0. It's level 100. The game doesn't know how to display it, right? Um, perfect. I talked about it at the end of the last video, but we made some adjustments to our settings, our techniques, if you will. Uh, we no longer have Nap Pass 3 for any player. We no longer have Nap Shot 2 for any player. So those have both been banned from the series. We are abusing the nap a little bit too much. So we have base nap shot and we can nap the opposing goalie, but 40% chance is not super great. And it's not something that we're likely to succeed with. So it's, it's more of a risk if we use it. And then as we uh, see the past eager, we're gonna go for the all out defense. I would like to talk about something. These stat changes. So we don't know what happens after level 99. We're here now, right? We know now. Um, I'm scared, so I'm very, very scared. So, stat changes. What changes? Eager and Blappa both get more shoot. Nimrod gets more shoot. I think, or Nimrod gets more catch, sorry. Um, Barrick, I think, got more pass and attack. Uh, Judah and Lake M, more attack. Like, there were substantial increases uh, to stats. Like, everything almost went up for the Albed Sykes. This could mean. And I don't want to. I don't want to assume too early. This could mean that the Albert Sykes are a tank team. They could just 99 every stat and then crush us. I did not expect that. I thought they would be super lame. Uh, but they're not a really defined team, right? The the goers are very much like, oh, we're very bad early on, and or, or we're very we're very good early on, and then we're bad later on, and then the beasts are the inverse of that. Uh, fangs are slow, glories are fast, but like, who, how are they really defined? How would you define the Albed Sykes team beyond just like, Nimrok real good, he, he good, you know what I mean? Like, that's all there is, so, um, definitely a lot to be worried about. I, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what they're, what they're going to achieve. I don't know if we can survive. Um, we're just trying to do something to win right now. I'm gonna go for the wither shot, which is kind of foolish, but I might be able to score. And then, oh, never mind. I was gonna say, if not, then I maybe do something to there. Nah, it didn't even work. All right, well, we're gonna try to take the tackle and do the same thing. I don't know. To be honest, I never like trying for the wither. It always feels kind of foolish because it always feels like a scenario where you just hit block or you hit catch and you need to get the ball back. Like it's, it always feels risky. But I also now I'm at the point where I, I can't nap shot two. And I, I don't know. I don't know if that base nap shot's worth it. I really don't know. I really don't know. It's tough to say. The challenge here, of course, is if we get the ball, we can't just throw it at the goal. Uh, if, if we had slept Nimrick, we could. Wither's different. We got to get the ball and then position which is always very difficult, I feel. Oh, we are gonna see Wither shot three from Barrett. He could score. Like, I don't wanna disregard him too much. He could definitely score here. Oh my gosh, he does. All right, Barrett with the Wither shot three. As if we didn't have to worry about blapping eager enough, Barrett comes through with a shot of his own. I think the only positive here, I could be wrong, but um, I wanna say we're, we're gold on the second goal because um, Nimrick should still be withered. Oh yeah, he is. You can, can even see it. He's still withered. So let's see if we can get a goal. Oh my gosh. Oh no. They're doing the thing. You, you, you see it, right? They're doing the thing. They're, they're playing all out defense. They're playing all out defense. They don't want to play uh, against us. I think Waka I think he can score here. It is tough to say. I just don't know. Yeah, we're in extreme danger. We're in the weird walk needs to take a tackle and survive business. 
side of this. Let's go flatline, I guess. I don't know. I'm just making it up, dude. I have no idea what to do. I'm, I feel like we're hopeless. Maybe it's early to call that, but I, I just don't know. I got a minute to get to the goal. I think, from what I see, Nimrick is no longer withered. I mean, can I really hope for a sphere shot and have that work? I mean, maybe, but it feels like no. Gonna see that past eager. Out of curiosity. Oh yeah, he's he's no longer withered. Mr. 68 catch. All right, we're down a point, but I mean, we can still win. I mean, honestly, what I think is I should have gone for the base snapshot. Although it was unlikely, like, I mean, so was my goal with wither shot three, you know? I, I don't know, it just, it feels like it did not pan out. Um, with the stat change, or with the technique changes, sorry. We might see an extreme, extremely dominant Albert Sykes and a lot of level ups. And that's the thing, we made a pretty big change. We not only leveled up the Albed Sykes, we significantly nerfed our team. And that's really what we're going to have to contend with here. I think it's fair, though, because I feel like our strategy became one thing. And that's what we do, right? We play through the series, we see how it goes, and then we see what we do. And, and sometimes we develop strategies that are way too strong. That we are just like, I think we began this series with like full movement of our players, manual movement. And we realized like, oh, we can just dominate everyone. Like there's no, there's no threat. Like we can just do whatever and be fine. And, and we killed movement. Then we decided, oh, invisible shot, uh, invisible shot kind of, you know, removes the idea of stats mattering at all for goalies. So we removed that. Um, and we felt like Nat passed, you know. I mean, as you guys clearly saw, we thought, all right, well, Nat Pass is a little bit strong. Uh, we 100% chance to sleep everyone. A little bit, little bit OP. Maybe not the latest levels, like when everyone's block is 99, if it even gets there. But at the earlier ones, for sure. And then Nap Shot 2 being a little bit much, because we would just constantly do that. Um, we're trying to strike balance as we go through, uh, whatever that takes. Judah, though, a little bit of a better forward we gotta go for the i think we gotta go for the sphere shot though oh we get the opportunity is perfect 81 is good nimrod can't stop it that's a one-to-one -one. i will 100 percent take that that's perfect that was just that was just an extremely good sphere shot um, some, some to keep in mind too. Um, eventually, sphere shot's gonna be pointless, in my opinion, because eventually, I believe our shoot's gonna hit near 99, if not 99. So it'll be a weird scenario where sphere shot is actively just like a, it, it does nothing. So it'll be interesting when we hit these those levels. Those will be the times when we do like, honestly, like base snap shot or whatever, because we decide like who cares. Like it's gonna be 99 shoot anyways. So like who cares? Um, and that's where I think that that change might really be seen more. Uh, keep his block is halved, which is better than his catch. I'll take that. I'm gonna auto counter. I can't really get out of this, can I? Yeah. I probably should have stuck with the all out defense so that I could have pursued Lake Am immediately. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I think we pretty much are gonna do that regardless. Two person, three person, what are we looking at? Oh, she does have really impressive um, endurance though. Her endurance is crazy. I'm gonna go for the weather. I just don't think we steal this. Definitely feels like a Letty turnover. Does Letty even have any form of a pass that matters? No. I'm gonna give this to Wakeham if I can. Perfect. Honestly, we're just too cramped. Like, nothing is happening because we have too many people uh, just here. 
In a perfect world, Dotto gets this and maybe we get a good push towards goal. That would be that'd be great. Now we get 20% chance of that happening here. Ooh, that's not Dotto. That's Letty. Alright. Again, I just don't believe that we can get past this. So I'm giving this to Lake Am every opportunity I can. Because she's also not doing anything. If I give this ball... Oh man, I, I gotta go for it. I'm greedy. Okay. Well, we might get punished anyways. I was gonna say, if I give this ball to Blap or Eager in this position, we lose. So I need to, I need to like, give Lake Am the ball however I can. It looks like we are already in trouble. Interesting enough, Blapa doesn't go for the shot. I mean, he... Oh my gosh. They're throwing the game, dude. They're throwing the game with these plays. I can just get, like, an actual defender. If it's just walking, that, that's not enough. Okay. Let's go for the auto counter. I'm greedy. I mean, there's no way this goes anywhere, right? Because he's going to cut back here pretty soon. Oh, no, he's not. That's crazy. All right. Cool. So I think I made it pretty clear. Uh, goal here is killing time. And consider that time killed. Judah gets the ball. Everyone's on their side of the field. Ten seconds left. This is definitely an OT. This is good. Because what this allows now is maybe we start with the ball. We position for a goal. Like, we were not in the, the best position there. Like, we were in a terrible position even. We were like, they get the ball to a forward like once and they decide to shoot it, we, we lose the game. So, whatever it takes to win. Whatever it takes to extend the uh, level gap to 31. Because we've it feels like level 30 has been the stopping point for so many attempts. Uh, we do have weather shot, nap shot, okay. The, the stupidest idea ever. Do I just send a nap shot? Do I take the coin flip? The 40% coin flip? The not a coin flip coin flip? Oh my gosh. 40% chance to sleep with base nap shot, I believe. So, I mean, maybe, but oh, it feels so bad. It feels so stupid, you know what I mean? Like, it, it just feels like, why would I ever do that? But then you find yourself in a situation where your back's against Keepa, you're fighting for your life, and you're like, well, I know why I'd do that now. Double, double tackle would be ideal. Unfortunately, we do not get that opportunity. This eerily feels like the same scenario we were just in. Except eager, a lot less pressure, a lot more opportunity. Not good defenders. Oh, you're making me nervous. <gasps> big, 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 big. Dotto with the steal, that is absolutely massive. Let's go for the auto counter. I don't know if he can get past Judah, but let's see. Oh, maybe he can. Nice. I'll encounter Wake Cam. I don't mind. I mean, I do, but, like, what choice do I have if I really, really want to go for this? Come on, Dotto. Okay, fail. Got it. I'm clearly nervous now. Don't like the fact that Josu tackled there. Because now people are further away from Blappa. Makes it feel a little bit lamer. If we just get Bada and Josu. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is the worst. No way. Yeah, there's no way. Wow. With that, the Albed Sykes score and the 30 level gap is destroyed again. Only 29 levels between our teams. That is crazy. All right. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And when you come back, going to be playing more Blitzball. Till next time.